In this world, we have been left behind by the gods of Olympus. After defeating the great titans, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon, and the other gods have returned to their Acropolis above, but not before making their mark. Now their children seek to prove themselves and survive against the dangerous world of mythical beasts, monsters, and worse. Welcome to Origins of Olympus. What are you doing here? I'm just training. I'm on my way for breakfast. Yes, breakfast. Oh, okay. Um, but who are you again? I'm Brick, son of Hades. Ah, uh, you're the son of Hades. Yep, that's me. Um, don't know why, but I already like you. I mean. I'm not exactly the most likable kind of guy, but you and me, we might be able to get along, you know? Probably, probably. Well, I'm Brandine, son of Ares. All right, well, that's a cool, Brandine. It is indeed. Um, what, what, are you, what are you training for? Well, I'm about to go raid a dungeon eventually, and I'm working on just working on my skills, you know, because I got some big things planned. Interesting. So what what kind of weapons do you have? Well, so this is Midnight, a oh. giant axe, giant battle axe, and then this is Mercury. They're both weapons from Hades. They're pretty powerful. And yeah. he like sent them to the camp like last year. So now I have these really powerful weapons. Hmm. Interesting. Have you ever killed anyone with those weapons? Um, whether I have or have it is not something you need to know. I like it. That's, again, a better answer than most people in this place give. Well, most people in this place are chickens. If you can say that again. I had this discussion with Zilo, Zilo, whatever his name is, him. I had a conversation with him. His answer was a goat. Wow, okay. That's, a goat. Yes. Wow. A goat, yes. What's the biggest thing you've killed? I mean... There's definitely been some mythical beasts that I've been after, so I mean, I don't know. I mean, some pretty impressive stuff. Interesting. Anything particular? Um, I mean, maybe one day I'll take you on one of my quest raids and you'll see how big the mythical beasts that I'm fighting are. Mmm, does it compare to a 20 foot demon beast? Maybe? I'm not 100% sure on that one. Why? Wow. Have you killed a 20 foot demon beast? Yes, yes. From okay. where I'm from, they're very common. All right, well, we I, think, I think we're going to get along. I think we both got some similar talents then in the field of combat. Mm, I like that. I like that indeed. Interesting stuff I have to say. Oh. So, what I'm kind of joking. weapons do you have? Um. Huh. I, uh, my fist. That's it? Yeah. I'm very okay. into melee combat. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess whatever works, works. I mean, at some point in time, though, I'll get, I will get you a weapon. I think you could benefit from having one. Why does everybody want to pound weapons off on me? I'm not a charity. <laughs> I feel like a weapon oh. would come in handy, though. I mean, if you're, go I if you're going in one of these dungeon is. raids, you're gonna need one. I mean, yeah. As long as it's melee, I guess I can, you know, I can kind of deal with that. Well, we'll have to see. All right, so, what else? Yeah, no, none of this long range stuff that that cheeky guy keeps trying to give me. <laughs> yeah, no. That's Especially weird. if the water element. 
Ew. Don't. That's the no. son of Poseidon, right? Why is? He, why would you want a water weapon? Oh, he, he, great guy and everything, but he tried to give me a water bayonet. Wow. He tried to give me. It's like a super a water soaker element. Well, yeah, it kind of looks like one. Not gonna lie. Like, what's that gonna even do for you? Like, you're stronger with your hand than with that thing. Like, come on. <laughs> He, he likes long-range stuff. Oh, no, I mean, look. Not gonna lie, we're probably some of the fiercest warriors here, so I think we know a little better than him. Mm, he's kind of fierce. Not gonna lie. All right, well, I mean, touche, touche. I don't know. I don't really know many of the new campers, I'm gonna be honest. Don't really like talking yeah, to most of them. One. You, uh... You probably Most of them. like him, not going to lie. I might like him. All right, well, yeah. keep it in mind, keep it in mind. Definitely. Um, yeah. Anyways, I think uh, I don't want it to get too late in the day, and obviously the food to be gone. I don't want the other campers to get the first, so I might skedaddle. And, uh, yes, my, my meal awaits. Nothing comes between me and my food, unfortunately. You're not gonna go like, go hunt your food right now. You're just gonna grab it right out of the cabin up there. I mean, if they do the hunting for me, it saves me a hell of a job. True, 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 true. Okay, valid point. I like that. Letting other people do your work for you. Smart. Precisely. Smart. Unless I want to do it or feel the need to do it, somebody yeah. else can do it for me. I mean, obviously, you know, only you can do the job best. But sometimes you can like, you know offload some work on some of the like you know exactly. lower tier demigods or whatever exactly i don't need to do the work if they can do it for me that's true so yeah that's what i'm gonna go and do i know i've got a little bit of food on me but i'm feeling something fresh makes sense makes sense hmm all right yeah, well so uh i'll leave you to your training and i will catch you some other time son of Hades. All right, goodbye, son of Ares. See you later. That guy was a little weird, but at the same time, like, maybe maybe having him as an ally would come in handy. Like, I don't know. Can I trust him, though? I'm not sure. Like, he seemed very, very curious about me a little bit. Almost like, like he said he liked me, but he didn't even know me yet. I'm not really sure. Like, I don't know what he's heard about me or if he's heard anything about me. But, like, do I, like, can I trust him? Like, is he someone to be trusted? Is what I really need to figure out. Like, I don't know who I could ask, obviously, because honestly, there's only mostly new campers here, so I don't really know like who I should ask or like I don't know. Is he can he be trusted or like I don't know, he could be valuable. Like he is a son of Ares, you know, they are very good warriors, and I'm sure like I could use those as like I'm raiding bosses and dungeons and stuff like that to get new treasures and you know to hone my skills. Like I'm sure that could come in handy, but at the same time, like, can I trust him? Like you know, some of this stuff isn't exactly, like, under camp protocol. Like, I don't know if he... Is he gonna rat me out? Like, is he a snitch? I really don't know, but... Like, what do I do here? Like, do I trust him? Like, I don't really know what I should do, okay? Like, we gotta walk around or something. Where's his cabin at? Oh, it's right here. Oh, my gosh. Son of Ares, Brandine. All right, so... Obviously, against camp protocol to just walk in here, but what have I been the one to follow the rules anyway? <laughs> Let's just go in. All right, here we go. Let's see. Got a little bag. Okay, he's got a pretty bare place. He's got a Nintendo Switch, though, so, you know, definitely knows how to celebrate his downtime, if you will, you know, in between warrior sparring sessions and stuff. But, I don't know, he seems like he's got a pretty regular cabin, so, I mean... Maybe there's some secrets in there, but maybe not. I feel like most people aren't hiding secrets in their cabin like me yet. But I'm pretty sure some of the new campers are going to come around and doing that. But I don't know. I mean, it definitely could be worthwhile to get to know him a little bit better. And I mean, maybe we can do something together. Like, I don't know. Like, I wonder what, like, valuable stuff he could bring to the table. You know what I mean? Like, he's definitely a strong warrior. You know, he's killed giant demon beasts, which, I mean, you know, that's helpful. I wonder... I wonder where those are from. Like, were they from the underworld or what? I really have no idea. Like, are they from Hades' realm? I'm not really sure, to be honest. But either way, it could definitely come handy to keep talking to him. So I'm not going to, like, totally close the door on him. But at the same time, like, can I trust him? 
I don't really know. Like, I got to keep my guard up around him. Like, he's a new camper. You know, he might be trying to take advantage of me just because, like, you know, I can skip trials and stuff and I don't get in trouble for that or all sorts of crazy stuff. Like, I don't know if he's trying to take advantage of that or what, but either way, I'm not really sure what to do, but I guess I'll have to figure it out. Like, do I trust him? Like, should I keep talking to him or what? I'm not really sure at all.